Jesus. Oh, we got so much to do. I can open this garage for you. Can you take this for me, babe? I'm gonna need that cap, that's a receipt. So, we have got to open up this garage door here. She needs some help getting this open so she can finish her video. What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So, we are about to head up to Devin's place. Devin's the guy that does a lot of the work for us in terms of like if we're doing suspension stuff or if we have some stuff that we need done that needs to be done properly because little mistakes can't be made with certain components like steering and the drivability of the truck. We are gonna be heading up there right now because we have Nasty Red up there. He's been working on Nasty Red. He did something on Nasty Red that I guess really wasn't that hard to do, but what we were gonna have him do we didn't have all the parts, so he couldn't get it done. We gotta take the first gen up to him. Yes, the white first gen. And that thing needs a whole bunch of steering upgrades. We're gonna get in the truck, we're gonna head up there, and we're gonna get this thing dropped off. And then also, I wouldn't mind getting a sneak peek of his third gen that he picked up. Well, with this truck, let me get it started up here real quick. Well, with this truck, we got a whole bunch of stuff that needs done regarding steering components. So we're gonna get this up to Devin's place and then uh, we'll go over some of these parts once we get up to okay, So before we get up to Devon's and go over all the parts that we are putting into this truck, something that you just need to kind of keep in mind with this truck, the reason we're doing them, just so you guys can have an understanding, the steering is like, will go a, almost a half turn before it actually starts turning the wheel. I mean, it is just, look how loose this is. Yeah, and the wheel's not turning right now. Now the wheels start turning, now there's some hesitation. So it just has too much play in it, to where it just it's just kind of a lot there's just a lot going on there and so understandably there's some stuff like that that's just kind of like a dodge thing that it's just kind of like an inherited thing through the dodge and chrysler truck line however there's definitely some of these parts that are going to make that a little tighter and make it a little bit safer and a little bit more uh, driver friendly going down the road so we're going to go over those parts in just a bit well, we made it, so we're gonna see what he's gonna do here, and um, we're gonna try to get a look here and see if we can check anything out over here that he's working on. Well, they look good. You ready to work on this freaking thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might not come home, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I'll keep it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's because you wanted a first gen too, yeah, right? No, yeah, yeah, I just I, I forgot about that. I got one out of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is not quite as nice as this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you should see it now. It doesn't look anything like that. Like, the whole front end's tore off. Like, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I kind of forgot that you trailered that up. So, for everybody wondering what happened to the mud truck, yep, he did it. that for a couple leveling kits. I'm like, you can take it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. He's yeah. like, I'm in. No, so, it'll be cool once, that one, once it's done. So, we should have in there um, steering parts for this. He said that it's a redhead steering box. And then he said a Borgeson steering shaft, and then dual steering stabilizers that I don't know if you can saw or not because of the bracket thing. Right. Well, and so we'll find out. This box looks a little bit bigger than what we got. Hey, hey, hey! We got. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's don't get, get the box don't out. Get him Let's too get the box excited. out. Okay. Before we get too excited. She's well, dirty. I have not done. At least he's got the right hat on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. I need I need one of those new ones. Yeah, like these? Yeah, those are these. nice. LMPgear.com, right? Yeah, you got, well, what is it? You go and buy some of those, and like you can win. Like to you, could, you could buy this. Enter to get the dually. And you could win an $80,000 <laughs> truck for five bucks. That but like everybody would die for. Somebody yeah. might kill a relative over it. I mean, I'm, my mom, I mean, yeah, you know, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's like, if you're looking to just give somebody a truck, I mean, yeah, like, she's I'll down. take the keys. Yeah, she's down. The truck pretty obvious it's a third gen but like what's kind of like the gist of what you're wanting to do with this thing? um they haven't seen it though no no one's seen it like um i mean i bought it i got rid of the suburban and i was like hey i need a truck so i've done a couple of your dodges and everything so i was like man i don't know i guess i dropped the duramax itch for a while and buy me a 24 valve six speed and he, yeah i was gonna say he didn't mess up he did get a manual yep. yeah so he's, yep. he's i wanted to get a manual <laughs> after i did the white flatbed for you like yeah. i drove that and i'm like man I, that gave me an itch to buy a manual i was so gonna like, say it wasn't yeah. much longer and you're like i got a six speed yeah <laughs> like, you're like i need one of these i got it for a pretty good price but uh the wife said i can't really do much to it so 
I'm just gonna put some super singles on it with some low pro tires. Drop to rear. Yep, yeah, yeah, reverse level it, level it. And then uh, my buddy wants me to wrap it. So we'll see where that goes because I want to get the bed fixed and then like little dents fixed because when you wrap something, it really shows the flaws. So I'm gonna do that and then it's gonna be dark as all day and then we'll go to start doing some motor work and see where that goes. He showed me the color that he said he was gonna go with when he wraps it. And it looks pretty, it looks exotic. It looks like something somebody would wrap on like a Lamborghini or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I've seen it's on crazy. one Duramax. On one truck? Yep, on one truck. Is it that guy on Instagram? Yeah, he's on Instagram. Oh yeah, I've seen it then. Yep, because he, he used to have the penny copper one. Yep. And then he switched over to that color. Okay. I was like, Dang man. I think I know which truck you're talking yep. about. It's like a cat eye Duramax. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then he had a Red Bull on it and everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And put your fourth gen Longhorn in it. That would be cool. I know. Like I love that that saddlebag interior that you had in your truck. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's God. so cool. But every time I look up to find like a wrecked one or something, they're like, oh yeah, thirty five hundred dollars. I know, dude. Day. They like, went oh, so much for I the know. freaking interior. Because uh -huh. I was just telling him, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but I was telling him about a truck that I wanted to try to do that yeah. with, and I'm like, I have like a three thousand dollar budget for the entire interior. I'm like, the <laughs> seats are gonna swipe yeah. all that. Like it's yeah. crazy. I saw, I follow a third gen form on uh, Facebook and the guy took out this third gen dash and put a fourth gen dash in it and it looked pretty good. And I was like, man, I just don't have the time for that right now. So yeah, it looks good. I it, wonder it's if, pretty darn clean. Yeah, it's not bad besides like little stuff, but I want to take this bumper off and try and fit a newer style bumper on it with these headlights, even though these headlights dip down. I'm going to try and tuck it up and see what it just does like for now. You know uh, what? Yeah, I th even think like with, um, it'd probably clear them, but I think you can get new third gen headlights that are just like a flat, flat. bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Because you would basically just, pretty sure they do that. Because if you really look at them, they could be flat. They only yeah. did that dip just because they contoured to the bumper. Yeah. But other than that. I thought I figured that would look pretty good, you know? It would look super good. Then I want to do a cow hood. Like, nothing crazy. Just kick up like this and slant down. I think oh, it's yeah. going to look good. It's going to look really good. Especially with those 22 by 14s. But I'm just worried those 22 by 14s aren't going to stick out as far as I want. <laughs> like, I, you know you know me. Like, I <laughs> love Did it. you see Reagan's truck? Her yeah, fourth gen? Yeah. They'll stick out good. like that. I hope. I, I mean... Hope. Well, I on have, these trucks, they already have a wider axle than like the Fords and the Chevys yeah. anyway. So they freaking stick out. Way out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that adapter from the eight lug to 10 lug is an inch. So that's gonna give me an inch out and then all of my rim. It's like, whoo. <laughs> it's gonna be like almost like a 16 wide. I hope, I really want to. <laughs> I want it to be like that. And then I wanna get like the mirrors that you put on nasty red, the longer look and everything. So I. The more square, yeah. I symmetrical hate. Look. I hate this. Like I hate it 100. I don't know why. Does your glass vibrate when you're going yeah. down the road a little bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sit there and idle. My glass vibrates. Yeah, like those aren't supposed to do that. It's crazy. And they're only like a 150 dollar upgrade, but they yeah. take the shake out of the glass and they just look more clean. That's crazy. Yeah. The first day I got this, I had another set of aftermarket Duramax mirrors, and I tried putting them on here, and they were no good. Yeah. Like I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, come on. And they actually somebody did one with a first gen. Did you see the guy that did one with the first gen? He basically took that glass where they have little fold out windows and he made a steel plate that like fitted into it perfectly. Oh, yeah. really? And then he just like fitted the plastics and drilled his holes evenly and spaced it all. Like it, it looked yeah. really good. It's actually a pretty slick idea. Like he put the Duramax mirrors on there and I'm like, that's actually like the perfect look for a big boxy truck. Yeah, that would be cool. We're headed out. He's going to be working on that first gen. In terms of this truck, all he did was the traction bars on it. But other than the traction bars, it doesn't really need a whole lot more. It just needs the dual string stabilizers. Just a couple little more small things for this truck. We got the mirrors, got the grill, got all that jazz put on. I'm also super excited to see how his truck turns out because it's going to be pretty freaking killer. So we also just got a truckload of parts for the Chevy 1500 gasser build. And I think you guys are going to really like how that thing turns out. It's going to be... It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be pretty sweet. It's definitely something different. It's gonna be like a really fast project. It's gonna be like done in like two weeks at the most. But I think you guys are gonna really like it. The feedback was pretty good and there were a lot of people excited about that little Chevy 1500 build. So anyways guys, 
thank you so much for watching the video. I know it wasn't a real long one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a fat thumbs up. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Don't forget to enter to win the 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. Every $5 is one entry, just a little reminder there. And that ends in about 14 days. So do not miss out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.